my name is Carly Sass and I'm Centre Supervisor. I'm also an ECE2 and I'm the home visitor for Manadu. And I love this community and um, I find that you, know, you just have to really get to know it's like a small town. Lower Circle Park is more like a family to the people that are, are living in this area. Everyone kind of looks after everyone. When you first walk into the center, we have a, a large area for block play. We have a large area for gross motor, jumping, that sort of thing. Where are you going, Sarah? Are you going down here on the green That is one? broken. The yellow? Yeah. Is that broken? That one also. This area that we're in right now is the housekeeping area and then the library area. The kids really like the small couches and we have child-sized couches for them to be able to set them up for reading on their own. And then we have the tables where the meal times take place. Um, lots of enriched caregiving happens in the area. If you look outside, it's a very natural playground, and that is to incorporate imaginary play. All the absidarian components can be done inside or outside. Oh, there's another brown thing? Okay, what's another brown thing? Give me a hint. Block. Yay! Okay, ready? Close your eyes. We implement the absidarian approach many, many times in a day. It's an early years learning intervention program, and it's language-based. Every 15 minutes, something has to be happening. And we have to either be speaking to the child, doing a learning game, reading a book, or rich caregiving. But it's natural. You can't take the child out of their environment and say, OK, sit at the table, and we're going to read this book. You know, you have to make it natural, but intentional. Right. We need to. We need two things. A pen, Anna. Okay. Who wants to go get the pen? Okay. Who wants to get the paper? Okay. We'll go get the pen. Oh, we have. Basically, the whole purpose of having the absidarian approach is to encourage school readiness and get the kids ready for school. So when we're talking to the parents about the children accomplishing a skill level or whatnot, the parents get excited and that motivates them. And we've had some parents that are so motivated by their children's success and their language and their development that they've actually gone back to school because they want to be positive role models for their children because they feel their children are positive role models for them. Hi.